Castles. Today we are going to talk about castles. The British Isles are full of castles. There are estimated to be about 4,000 in the UK. Britain has a long, long history of being invaded and then invading other people. So it's not surprising we have a lot of castles and other defensive buildings. Before castles, there were hill forts, which were buildings on high ground. These were surrounded by a fence and ditches and were almost like a raised town. Many hill forts became the site of castles later on. The Normans built the first proper castles in Britain, called Mott and Bailey castles. These were made up of two parts. The first part was a wood or stone tower on top of an artificial hill, the Mott. The other part had buildings on lower ground, the Bailey. Both the Mott and Bailey were surrounded by a fence and ditch. As time went on, larger and fancier castles began to be built. Stone was used as it is stronger than wood. Castles were used as fancy homes for the rich, but were still built for defence. While he was king, Henry VIII built lots of castles. These were mostly near the coast, to defend from invasions from France and Spain. Although more and more castles were abandoned or became homes over time, they could still be used for defence when needed. Most people consider the English Civil War to be the last time many castles were called up for this purpose. From the late Tudor period onwards, people started to build castles for living in, not defence. Rather than building large, stately homes, some wealthy people instead built places to live based on the style of older castles. This was a display of fashion and success. Today, most castles are ruins or maintained by charities or other organisations for the public to visit. Only a few are still lived in, such as Windsor Castle, one of the places the Queen lives. My dad loves history, so I spent many summer holidays and long weekends wandering around castles. Here are a few castles I love. Tintagel. Tintagel is an amazingly located castle in Cornwall. Half of the castle is built on the mainland, and the other half on an island. While the mainland and island used to be connected by a strip of land, today they are joined by a huge footbridge. Carlisle Carlisle Castle is a medieval castle. Until England and Scotland were united, its location near the Scottish border made it very important. You can see this through how impressive the castle looks. Castle Drogo Known as the last castle to be built in Britain, this castle was just for show when it was built between 1911 and 1930. It's remarkable to look at but staying too close to the original design of castles led to some problems. Due to poor design, its roof and windows leaked. Currently, it is being restored to make it watertight and repair the damage. 
Have you ever visited a castle? If so, do you have a favourite? If not, is there one you'd like to visit? Let me know in the comments.